Now you're ready to create a second animation. Right click on animations and select new animation. Now double click animation 2 to activate it. Now if you expand the action editor you can see that there are no actions in this animation. We're going to use the timeline and action editor in a more advanced manner so move it to the top of the graphics area and then resize it to fill the graphics area. Since you're familiar with the constraint and fade animation actions we'll start by adding them to the animation. Click the animate constraint command. The first step is to select the constraint so expand the base plate and then select the first angle constraint in the list. Leave the constraint option selected and set the end angle to 720 degrees. We're not going to let the cam rotate as long in this animation. It will start rotating two and a half seconds into the animation and it will rotate for five and a half seconds. So click the specify option Set the start to two and a half seconds and set the end time to eight seconds. Click the acceleration tab and make it run at a constant speed. Now click OK. Now we need to add fade animations. Click the animate fade command and this time we're going to fade all the components of both bearings. Select bearing housing 1 and 2, sleeve 1 and 2, and bearing 1 and 2. Set the end value to 10%. Select the specifier option, and then set the end time to 2.5 seconds. The acceleration really doesn't matter for an animation that only lasts two and a half seconds. So click OK. Now mirror the fade animations. Once you've done that, move the time indicator and then move the mirrored fade animations to the end of the constraint actions. Now collapse the action editor and then open the animation options. We added ten and a half seconds of action to the animation so let's reduce the length of the animation to the length of the actions. Click OK and then render the animation. Name this animation Video 2. Click the first icon to set the rendering to the length of the animation and then click the render button. Select the compressor and then click OK. Your animation should look the same as the animation shown at the beginning of this lesson.